We bought, we a, bought a farm. <laughs> Come check it out. We started looking for property in 2021, probably earlier than that. We've always kind of kept an eye out, but um, we wanted sort of a multi-use property that we can camp on, um, plant some gardens, and eventually build like some sort of cabin or just our own structures to have. I, I had some requirements for the land that we were going to look at and one was had to be sort of partially forested or had you know trees the other was had to be you know bigger than five acres that was kind of like the minimum size i think we wanted but we were going for probably 10 ish 10 plus and then uh there also had to be a water source on the property whether that was like a pond or if it was like lakeside or a creek running through the property. It also had to be in sort of the Sierra environment, so like forested and, and had four seasons. So I, I wanted to kind of have a property that would have snow on it, at least part of the year. We found this property listed uh, online in March. We drove four hours to go see it and it sort of, at a high level, checked all of the boxes with some catches, <laughs> <laughs> obviously. Uh, there used to be a house uh, on the property, but it burnt down 10 plus years ago. We're still trying to track down exactly how long. The, the bonus to that was that it had a septic system already in place. There was power on the property, which we can get hooked up if we want. Uh, there is a well. It's also pretty great because it's it's in sort of a subdivision area, um, but it doesn't have an HOA. So we went to go check out the property the day that we saw the listing. Johnny left work early, and we made the four-hour drive over there. And uh, we didn't have very much daylight left by the time we got there, so we were kind of running around trying to see as much as we could in the probably 30 minutes that we had and it's kind of a junkyard there's a lot of work to get done it's pretty rough <laughs> it's pretty rough <laughs> but it did theoretically check all of the boxes so we got home we talked about it and we put in an offer first thing the next morning right at 8 a.m and kind of thought about it after she was like do you see what i see uh, I mean, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> Our experience with the realtor and the process of closing on land probably should have been a lot easier. It was our first time going through anything like that, and... It was like pulling teeth just to try and get information from anyone. Really. Yeah, it's been a month since we closed, and still nobody's actually told us that we closed. Yeah. The land is ours. At one point, like, the papers just showed up. We're like, oh, <laughs> okay, cool. But after maybe two months of going back and forth with the realtor and the title agent and the seller, we did close. Now this 20 acres is officially ours. Mm-hmm. This junkyard is officially ours. We've, one man's trash <laughs> is another man's trash. hard work <laughs> and trash. <laughs> So for now, we're pretty much spending every free minute we have up here doing mostly cleaning. Sorting, bagging, chopping trees. Mm -hmm. We're going to start setting up a, sort of a, a usable campsite that we can go to and make a little bit more comfortable while we're camping here basically on our own land and, and cleaning. Yeah, figuring out the next move mm -hmm. and prepping for my chickens. Heh <laughs> heh.